Here are seven very important items that you'll want to address in your contract before you sign. Double check these items before you sign your contract. Number one is the brief legal description. Make sure the address of the property and the brief legal description are correct. You can go over this with your agent and in most areas you can find a public record for the property online. Number two, who represents you? Have you discussed this with your agent? Have you already signed some sort of agency agreement? This may be important to double check. There are a couple of different types of agency. What they mean can be very important to you if issues come up. Be sure and go over this with your agent and ask for a full explanation. Number three, who pays for what at closing? This is outlined early on in the contract. Sometimes the title insurance is split between the parties and sometimes one party pays it all. Do you need a survey? Who does the contract say will pay for the survey? The deed, the attorney, all of this is outlined in the contract. Number four, the condition of the property at closing. What condition is the property expected to be left in at closing? Is it to be fully free of trash and extra items? Be sure to know what to expect because leftover furnishings and trash are much more difficult to address at the last minute. Inspection terms and timelines. How long do you have to complete your inspection? What type of items are considered normal and what items are considered safety or major defects? This is very important to know because the seller may not be required to fix all issues. Number six is who holds your earnest money and what are the requirements for it to be released to either the purchaser or the seller? Be sure you understand the terms of this. It's not automatic that the purchaser gets the earnest money back if you don't close for some reason. Number seven, additional provisions. This is a section of the contract that allows space for you to address issues that may not be clear to you in the contract. Are you asking for the seller to pay for something that the contract says the purchaser will pay? Are you asking the seller to leave something or remove something specific? This is where you would address it in the contract. In today's market, where most people sign electronically, it's very often that some of these items get overlooked. This is just a brief list of things to make sure you understand before handing over your signature.